Yeah, so let's do medication Monday. What do you have for me today? I'd like to talk a little bit about Abilify. Abilify, yes. What do you want to know? All right, so I know this is something that we use for adults as well as children. Um, yes. Who is it good for? When do we use it? Yeah, Abilify is uh, an interesting medication. I kind of call it the Neapolitan ice cream of medication because at lower levels, it treats depression. At middle levels, it treats bipolar disorder. And then at uh, higher levels, it treats schizophrenia. So it's kind of confusing to patients because they'll read about it and they say, well, I don't think I have bipolar disorder. And I'll have to explain I'm giving it to them for uh, major depression. Uh, and the reason that works that way is that Abilify pushes on a few different buttons. And as you raise the dose, it pushes on more buttons more fervently or um, or strongly. And when you do that, it helps treat other conditions. So uh, for example, in major depression, we think it affects serotonin 5-HT2A receptors by blocking those. And it also blocks, uh, uh, it partially blocks dopamine uh, receptors, but it does so by stimulating some and blocking others. So as a novel mechanism of action, um, for that reason, and as you raise the dose, it can uh, turn more into like a mood stabilizer for folks who have moods that go up and go down. That's what bipolar disorder is. And then folks with schizophrenia, um, they will uh, hear voices speaking to them that other people cannot hear. Uh, and they will also often feel uh, like they have low motivation to do things. And so Abilify helps to block them from hearing voices and it can help with motivation. And so um, it's a very uh, um, dynamic medication. Uh, I use it a lot in my practice. And, um, and yet if someone's taking it, they have to look out for uh, side effects uh, as well. Uh, one of my kind of pet peeves with medicine is that on, on, TV, you'll see advertisements for these types of medications and patients really ought to know what the side effects are because um, they can be serious sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it treats such a range of things. How do you know when you're at the therapeutic dose that you need? Well, we know that like certain doses, um, um, when they tested them, when they did research for depression, usually between two and 10 milligrams did the trick. And then uh, between 10 and like 30 milligrams help the other two conditions out. So they know um, without checking blood levels that those were the doses that uh, most work. And, and, and clinically we know that because if you give somebody with schizophrenia a low dose of Abilify, it's often not until you reach the higher doses that their symptoms will start to dry up. Um, so there's that. Now back in the, back in the, maybe 70s, 80s, um, psychiatrists used to check blood levels of lots of different medications. And from my training, what I understand, because I, I was trained in the 90s um, and uh, the early 2000s, um, that uh, it didn't correlate as well for some reason, uh, and namely like antidepressants. Like if you check the level, uh, a lot of times it didn't matter as much of how, how high the level is. Now that's not true for mood stabilizers like lithium, where we where that it is common practice to do. I will say before we hop off on that topic, um, folks taking Abilify do need to look out for movement disorder things. Like sometimes they'll cause twitchiness around the mouth, um, or uh, movement issues where they'll have like a tremor, twitchiness in their hand. Uh, there's something called cogwheel rigidity where. As a doctor, I, I'll have the patient passively do this. I'll, 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 I'll let them rest their hand or their arm in my hand and I'll articulate their, their um, elbow joint here. And sometimes you'll feel kind of ratcheting uh, that occurs and that can be um, a side effect of Abilify. Um, and if that's happening, then um, we talk about changing the medication. You know, it, it's important to let people know what's going on with their bodies. Um, 
Other things with the Abilify would be uh, something called akathisia. That's an internal sense of restlessness where people feel like they have to like wiggle around. It's usually from like the neck down that they feel it or kind of in their chest. And it's an odd sensation. And a lot of times they don't know it's happening. They don't know what it is. They just feel anxious and restless, but they're not in their minds worrying about a particular thing, you know? Um, and so that's one thing that can emerge in a fraction of patients taking this. And then the final thing I would say is uh, metabolic syndrome, that uh, this class of medication can sometimes raise uh, blood sugar and cause uh, prediabetes or diabetes, um, high blood pressure, weight gain, all these things that like you wouldn't want to develop, right? So um, the, it can be a very effective medication, but those side effects uh, are untoward, of course. And rarely uh, it can make people want to gamble. That's a That's a... An, uh, kind of an odd side effect, but there's some compulsive gambling reported in the literature. So um, uh, that happens now and again. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. That's, that's unexpected. That's what I got for you. Right. Yeah, it's unexpected. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I'll see you next Monday.